Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Capri Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot and the Norman reading for November 12th to November 18, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will do my best in this video to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. And one more thing, as the Christmas celebrations are coming around, they are basically looming on the horizon, there is a Christmas sale going on uh, which basically gifts you a uh, one recorded answer to a question service if um, you purchase the 20 minute live reading so yeah after that reading is done and somewhere into the future you do have a question uh, you can ask it for free so that being said uh, going to uh, the tarot reading first now this is the usual four card spread and the first card here that is going to show us Capricorn's topic of the week that is to be the Eight of Swords. So this isn't an ideal week for Capricorn because uh, the Eight of Swords points to uh, stubbornness and as I know Capricorn, well I don't know Capricorns, I'm not astrologer you know but I have a very good friend of a Capricorn and I could literally see how this is happening you know but uh, anyway uh, the eight of swords points that you may have some disturbances into the communication it's kind of like it, it, it could come in many different ways it could be that you have difficulty explaining yourself into somebody your boyfriend or a girlfriend you know your boss or a supervisor you may have difficulty making others seeing your point of view as well and uh, that is completely normal with the eight of swords now what this card actually Asks you is that this week is to be a week of elaborations. I mean, you need to elaborate upon what you want, how you want it, you know, the way, uh, how you are to reach to that specific destination, and etc. etc. So the blockage of the Eight of Swords can be reversed and can be overcome because the Eight of Swords points to blockages, yes, due to the communicational disruption, but these blockages can and should be overcome, guys, if one is uh, open-minded enough, you know. And that blockage could come other way around. I mean, someone may try to explain their point of view, someone may have a tremendous idea, I'm seeing myself into that, for example, you know, with my friend. But anyway, someone may have a tremendous idea and just because you are not the giver of that idea or just because, you know, you did not made it practical before uh, may kind of like make you disregard it at all without even considering it, without even trying it and etc, etc. But again, the Eight of Swords is the bind, is the bondage of the mind here. So your mind binds you into a, a shell that you may find it difficult to blow, to blast out of that shell and see the, uh, the situation in many different angles, should I say it that way. Uh, that being said, uh, Eight of... Um, Eight of Swords goes with that sentence, which I pretty much like. And the sentence goes by like, uh, if uh, the acceptance of the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it make you? So throughout this week, you are to also reach a conclusions or to you are also to face a certain remnants of the truth and you have to accept them all right because your denial of them doesn't make them untrue it doesn't make them disappear all right you can deny them just so much and for example the very grim interpretation of that is finding clues that your partner for example is cheating on you all right so you can choose to disregard those clues or you can choose to follow those clues now disregarding your clues does, will not make your partner stop cheating all right it's just you have to follow them so it's kind of like accepting here the truths and 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 following the the, the signs that uh, that your life is given to you the core of the situation uh, this is to be the uh prince of pentacles or also known as the knight of pentacles 
and uh, we are now talking about a, a very me uh, meticulously created plan or created routine. It, it's plan most likely either regarding career or either regarding relationship that simply you would not want to change. That is the thing and, and there will be a necessity throughout this week that the plan needs to be readapted here, all right? But uh, for some reason, you know, you are uh, you are thinking that your plan is perfect, is flawless, and that's why you will find it very difficult for your behalf to bend the knee and say, all right, you know, we have to kind of like realign here and there some of our steps and uh, some points into our um, to-go list, you know, some stipulations there and etc, etc. But I, what I can reassure you here is that in, in the majority on its very core, your plan of performance, your plan of advance moving on forward is extremely correct, all right? But uh, maybe you are approaching a, a sim, a, a some kind of a situation either into your career or either into your relationship looking at these cards very trivially, you know, very uh, generically. It is how you are approaching it and what that that cause is only, uh, let's say, a um, um, kind of like morbid situations here. You are trying, but in the same time, you know, the, the other person or situation see that you try and simply they smile upon you and say, no, no, it's not going to happen that way. You know, you, you, you need to approach me in a slightly different way. So, yeah, it, it will be very important throughout this week that you have an agile mind, an agile um understanding as well you know to adopt a slightly different strategies to your performance the next card it is showing the challenges that are wow are to cause predicaments now we're talking about a big uh, compromises that you have to do uh, so um, <clears throat> this is the one disadvantage of not seeing all the cards you know uh, because uh, you Basically, the, the, the reading could variate very much depending on the position. And what we are having here is complete readoption of positions. I mean, today you had one standpoint and tomorrow you will need to change it completely. Now, that is displayed here with the uh, Ten of Swords and it points in that specific case abandoning of position for the sake of a, a new position. So it's kind of like you need to accept it as a chess game all right you sacrifice some time the queen so you can make check and further down the road a, a mate but just because the queen is too there to you you are to find it extremely difficult at your behalf to basically sacrifice that position that could be sacrificing positions at your job for example uh leaving that project to a, a co-worker of yours just so you can involve yourself into a different one you know or uh, you had a, a very good performance into your private business into a certain undertaking but now that isn't really working out very well and you have to readopt your strategies you need to um, kind of like pay attention more to a different undertaking which will make you completely drop off the table uh, the previous one and etc etc here we are talking about complete substitutions of ones or kind of like exchange swap of uh, of one's position also the ten of swords here um, for Capricorns may be a little bit difficult to realize but that card points that you need to draw the line make retrospection and say truthfully to yourself where you did wrong you know what you did wrong because everybody does wrong sometimes you know we are not um, kind of like uh, divine to not make mistakes you know and uh, basically you need to uh, you need to resign for yourself where you did a mistake um, learn your lesson from it and move on from there it's kind of like reaching peace for oneself or toward oneself that is to be the challenge throughout this week and the last card is the guidance that uh, you should follow that is the tree of wands and the tree of wands points that you this way around when you readopt your strategies you are to have the opportunity to actually make them completely synergized what i mean is that your performance are to completely uh, develop the way that you are expecting so uh, throughout this week it is very important as soon as you readopt your strategies you you know you make the sacrifice required there uh, is to uh, place a, a big challenges in front of yourself like a big goals big aims <clears throat> 
<clears throat> because for what it seems it's going to be very potent um, it's very potent week for success uh, if you again are agile enough to readopt your plan to sacrifice a certain positions here and there regarding relationship or career and from there as you do now have a, a room to maneuver uh, you are to find yourself very very productive lucrative passionate and you name it so you can claim your victory at the end at the end but if you are stubborn and you just simply don't want to give up a, a certain position just because for the sake of it you know uh, then nothing good is, is, is awaiting you just so you know I mean in, in this specific undertaking so that being said uh, this was the tarot reading and now let's see what the Lenormand cards are about to, to show us for you Capricorns they are to show us a, a event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid let me shuffle them really well here All right, so let's see what we got. Now the first one, this is to be the dog, followed by the letter, and the last one, this is to be uh, the fa uh, the uh, the moon. So the dog stands for loyalty and faithful companion. The letter stands for written text, email, and chat as well. And the last one stands for uh, recognition. It stands for fame, and it stands as well of how the other sees you. So what we do have here is a uh, someone that it is faithful to, to your job, that it is a, a faithful companion of yours. You know, someone that ain't going to abandon you is going to. Um, kind of like acknowledge you, you know, it's going to acknowledge your efforts, it's going to acknowledge your uh, your loyalty as well, your integrity and etc, etc. Uh, <clears throat> so it's it's rather like a, a very positive event and it will happen through text, oh my god, I'm, I'm so seeing myself doing so because um, I didn't tell you, I, I didn't told you about my Capricorn friend but it is in, uh, in Canada and I'm in Bulgaria, so there is no other way I could appreciate my friend, but obviously this is what's going to happen here. Or it may not be me, it could be someone else, but what what uh, the event says is that you are to be appreciated for either something you've done or for the efforts you are trying to make here for your friend's wellness, for your friend's good uh, fortune and for your friend's um, development further down the road so that being said capricorns this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for november 12th to november 18 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a general reading for capricorn star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore i did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and don't forget about uh, if you go for a personal reading don't forget about the uh, uh, winter sale or kind of like Christmas sale uh, promotion that is going on concerning the 20 minutes sale that being said rat signing out now see you next time bye